Well, thank you so much for joining us here once again on weatherbug.com. I'm weatherbug.com severe weather meteorologist Aaron Schaefer with you. And the day is, well, it's now Thursday. We're wrapping up a massive storm system that made its way through Iowa and Illinois, including the Chicago area. This is some lightning as the storms approach. There's the, look at that, striking the top of the Sears Tower, or what was the Sears Tower, now the Willis Tower out there. Now, these were the storms yesterday. You can see them conglomerating and then just blasting east. Look at that. So again, fast forwarding or kind of rewinding back into yesterday evening, you saw individual supercells merge together and then form into that bow echo that just launches on into that area. Now, behind that, a number of storm reports out there, including one north of Decorah, Iowa, near the town of Hanover, also east of Dubuque, uh, closer toward that area as well. Now, you head back up toward the west, and you're talking about near Hampton, Iowa, as well as a couple other towns near Belmond, Iowa. Tornado reports out there, including one uh, scene there where we saw twin tornadoes. You saw one cyclonic and one anticyclonic, so rotating in different directions. Hail reports were very large on the day yesterday, and a number of them as well, close to 200 storm reports in all, nationally speaking. These were some of your watches and warnings during the overnight hours and then extended through the morning time frame for the eastern seaboard. So we were watching that again earlier on in the day today. And on the day, also watching flash flooding and flood concerns across the east. So you're not just talking strong thunderstorms. You're also talking the potential for dangerous levels of flooding. So our storm threat for today, again across the east, encompasses the southeastern region from New York and D.C. area down toward Florida. And then also back up in Montana, we've got a chance of storms.